Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem eight in chapter ten. In this chapter, we talk about angular,、uh, the rotational motion. And in this system, we can see we have the wheel do the rotational motion, right? The rotational momentum of inertia is given, and also tell you initial angular speed omega naught, and tell us it touches ground and initially it slips fairly. It Uh, rolls without slipping. Ask you the direction that the friction act on this wheel. So for this one, we consider this is x component, y component. As the wheel moves forward on the x component, if you observe in your daily life, you will find the wheel will do the rotation motion in this way. This way, right? And、uh, consider the ground. And the ground, we can see. For the wheel, the ground just、uh, move the motion is、uh, backward for the rotational motion at this point. So the friction force must be forward, right? Just the opposite to the relative motion, and this、uh, friction force makes the car moves forward. Do you agree? Yes. The second one, we need to find the time taking from the initial to finally the car, the wheels rolls without sleeping. So for this one, it looks like we, when when the car when the wheels rolls without sleeping. So what does that mean? That means it must satisfy this function. The lead velocity equal to omega times r. Agree. So at this point of the time, the v equal to omega times r. So how can we find the v? V is initial and linear velocity is zero. It's stationary, plus the acceleration times t, right? So the angular velocity omega is omega naught. This one is given plus angular acceleration times t. So it looks like we must find the linear acceleration and angular acceleration at first. So how can we find the linear acceleration? So easy. See, we consider Newton's second law at y component normal force. Uh, equal to gravity, no problem. And the at the x component, we have the friction equal to mass times acceleration, right? How can you find the friction? Friction is mu k m n. So now you get the friction is mu k m g equal to mass times acceleration. So acceleration is done. There. Now we consider the angular acceleration. Angular acceleration we find is a net torque equal to i times alpha, right? Net torque equal to i times alpha. Now the i is momentum of inertia. You check your test book. You can find the i for the wheel, and then you input this i inside, and the friction is get there. So friction input, you find the function can be simpl simplified as this one, and then you solve the equation. You can get the angular acceleration in this function. Now input is acceleration and the ang angular acceleration in these two functions. You find this one, the function linear velocity as a function with time and angular velocity as a function of time. Input is a v and omega inside, so input is this term inside and omega inside. You can solve the time t. Then we are done with the b. The third one, the third one asks you to find the final linear velocity, right? So how can you do that? Sure. Because the t is given, and this function is given, so you can just、uh, the linear function, the function v, linear velocity as a function for t is given, and angular velocity omega as a function for t is given, and t is get. So you input the t inside, you can find the final velocity, linear velocity, and angular velocity. Thank you.